YouTube, it's channel Anna Bella here today and today finally I've got part 70 and 71 of the Doctor Who figurine collection. Um, as usual I'm going to do the packaging first and this has got a corker um, mistake on. Um, unfortunately issue part 70, issue 70 is a fifth Doctor story, The Resurrection of the Daleks. Um, it came out on the 5th of October 1988 and the figure is the Supreme Dalek. Okay, that's all good. That's how it should be on the magazine. On my packaging, I've got 70, Supreme Dalek. I've got Remembrance of the Daleks and the 7th Doctor. So, right issue, right figure, right type of Dalek, wrong episode and wrong Doctor. It's a 5th Doctor story. Um, so that's a tad annoying um, on my packaging. I think I might send them another message on Facebook about that. And um, 71 is a classic Doctor Who, well they're both classic, this is the fifth, this is the third um, Doctor. This is 71, and a Axon Man, Claws of Axos, and it's the third Doctor. So that is all as it should be there. Packaging is pretty much the same. So before we go on and look at the figures, we will do the magazine review, because that's what I do. So I've explained the cover on this one, which means we can just get on to the contents. So the Supreme Dalek, Moment in Time, The Return... Five Decades of Doctor Who 2002 Part 2, The Big Ask, Why Doesn't Davros, Davros Trust His Own Creations Anymore? Well, that's kind of obvious. They try and kill him. The People Who, Janet Fielding, as children do. Children outgrow their parents. And the Daleks pretty much outgrew Davros. Okay. Oh, look. The World in 2002. So Grand Theft Auto, uh, Vice City came out. So that's where we are. Who World, The Big Ask, and then Janet Fielding, and then it's an advert for issue 71. So, there we are. The Dalek, I'm going to leave the Axon guy there, this is the bird's eye view of them. They are wonderful figures, absolutely wonderful. I know I normally do both magazines, but I'm just going to change it. The Dalek is brilliantly designed, he was a specially designed Dalek. Um, he had special panels to make him so that he could actually fit through doorways. Um which is a first. He's also got like this rubber ring thing around him, like a bit like a xylophone, slightly larger. Because originally for the story, they wanted, um, in Remembrance of the Daleks, they actually wanted the Dalek Emperor. Um, Terry Nation said no, they couldn't have the Dalek Emperor, so they had to come up with the Supreme Dalek. He's a light figure. He's very, very versatile. And I actually think he's one of the best Dalek designs. He's so streamlined and he looks beautiful. So that's him. He's got a little ping pong balls on his head. And the Axon Man looks lovely. I love the paint job that they've done. Their figures of humanoid life forms have significantly improved. I'm going to do a close-up on his face for you. So there you are. He's very, very light in comparison to the Dalek though, as you would expect. So there he is. Um, if we look at the... Um, woo, try and stand up and not wobble over. That would be handy. So there they are. I'm going to spin them around for you again. Just so that you get a full 360. Close up on the face again. If I can. There you go. There's the Dalek close up. I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to... Go on to issue 71. It's Doctor Who figurine collection, The Claws of Axos. It's third Doctor story. 13th of March, 1971. The Vampire from Space. So here we go. So, your figurine, Axon Man. A Moment in Time, Bristol Fashion. Five Decades of Doctor Who, 2003, Part 1. The Big Ask. Why don't Axons real, realise its desire for time travel will cause temporal paradoxes? Who knows? And the people who is Michael Ferguson. So, there we are. So pleased to finally have these two figures. Yay, the master. Love the master. As played by Roger Delgado. Yeah, okay. I can geek out. Whoopee. Um, and then, 
part 32 is the wooden Cyberman as I have reviewed. So we should be all caught up now because I've done part 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75. So the next lot that should be coming are 76 and 77. I will check that. So if you've enjoyed this review of part 70 and 71 finally, um, please like, comment and subscribe. I apologise for weird packaging. Which is a tad annoying. Anyway, only two problems with this collection so far. One was the um, issue with my face of bow um, being damaged on arrival. And that can sometimes happen with packaging anyway. And this clearly is a misprint. Because Remembrance of the Daleks is very, very similar to Resurrection of the Daleks. This is Resurrection of the Daleks. Or is it Remembrance? Remembrance of the Daleks? No, that's the Seventh Doctor story, Remembrance of the Daleks. Resurrection of the Daleks is a Fifth Doctor story. And I should know that because I've actually watched this one repeatedly. That's tad annoying. Ah, Grr. Arg. Bye. Please like, comment and subscribe for more confusion.